Well, hello there. This is Susan Hamilton. You're watching Offbeat Business TV or listening to OBBM Network Podcast or OBBM Radio. You're listening to the Offbeat Business Show, rebuilding American business influence locally, nationally, and abroad bringing you experienced insight for a strong, influential brand and successful life in business. Here's your host, Susan Hamilton. Today, I'm excited to introduce to you Tom Chesser with Rise Up Media Marketing. And that happens to mean a whole lot of things. And friends, the reason I'm bringing this to you is we recognize who you are. 80% of American micro to small business tend to be family-owned businesses of nine employees or less. That means we're building our business while we're raising our kids. We're taking care of our parents. We probably have a veteran or active duty in our family or workspace. And over 30% of us have an addict in our family or workspace. So today, it is more important than ever to have a strong, influential brand. And I love bringing people to you that show me in the marketplace that that's exactly what they're doing. Tom, I'm excited about the relationship that we've begun ever since America's Real Deal TV when I met you in Fort Worth. (laughs) Absolutely. That was a real pleasure of mine to be invited to America's Real Deal TV show, you know, where entrepreneurs can come on and pitch their products and actually raise money for Mm -hmm. what they do. And it was a great opportunity to get in there and meet other people, but the real privilege was running into you. Somebody grabbed me by my arm and said, you got to meet Susan, you got to oh meet goodness. Susan, you got to meet Susan. And so in that situation, you know, it, I didn't know who Susan was. I didn't know what Susan did. I didn't know anything. But it, it's been a delightful pleasure of mine to have you even on my Rise Up Radio show. Oh, and we did a Rise Up Radio show recently where we were talking about basically a great event that's going to be happening here August the 30th through the 31st. And we just had a fantastic time. Uh, you brought on special guests. We got to talk about what they did, how they did, and what they wanted to, to do even at the event. So, you know, it, kind of funny. And, and I, I said something to you on the show, and I introduced you. I said, this is Susan Hamilton, my special guest. And I consider her to be the Wonder Woman. Do you know what this man did? <laughs> do you know that this man brought me a cape? And when he started talking about that, I thought that's pretty funny, Tom. <laughs> and you'll see the pictures going out with it. Because I can't wait to meet you. And I'm going to get more that just say superhero as well. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to find you and put these on you. Because thank you. I do find the superhero in people. That's kind of one of the things that we, we do a lot. We find unique ways yes. to actually get people the recognition and the publicity that they want for their business and for themselves. And for, quite frankly, what's necessary today. Absolutely. You know, one thing about media today is people are so confused about media today and the direction that it's taken and everything. So what we want to talk about is the good news about businesses. We want to explore what they do and the opportunities that they bring to American people today and give them the spotlight, not in a negative way. You know, a lot of times when people look at us as media people, they say, hmm, what's your what's your motive behind what you're doing? Are you going to twist the story? Are you going to change the story just to get hype or, you know, make the sensational news story out of something? That's not what we're all about. No. We are about actually just bragging about you, finding the superhero in you. And that's important for several different reasons, Tom. On the one hand, if we do that well, then the business owner can be found in a sea of sameness, right? They right. Can, it differentiates their brand. It elevates their brand. It helps, them, it helps a high-end client find them, the people that can afford their premium services, which is really the only way to, ha- to have a profitable business today. A lot of times, people, you can have more business, but it might kill you. You need to have <laughs> profitable, profitable business. business. But then the other aspect of it is that the influential brand that comes alongside of using digital audio and video uh, uh, methods today. But there's, you know, there's even, there's even stronger reasons that are closer to my heart when I think about my dad and I think about being raised in a local family business. And he was such a brilliant man and raised six kids and moved them across the state when he got sick of shoveling snow. And, he's, and he had to figure out, okay, how do I have this business? How do I deal with my supply chain now right. as a residential service business in the community when I got kids to feed and oh no, a truck broke down and I've got work on the schedule.
schedule and every but all that work had a paycheck attached to it that mm -hmm. we needed just to feed the kids and school need, and shoes and driver's license and all the things that you do as a parent when you have a large family and we watched him navigate that from the kitchen table but you know what tom he never would have put himself in a press release, he never would have put himself in a video or an audio. It was all we could do to get him to take a picture right, back during exactly, those days. Exactly, let him do that. And I'm grateful that he's uh, that he sowed into us that type of wisdom and that type of concern for our customers. I mean, we grew up knowing all of the customers on the database by right. their last name and their street address. You know, oh, you this they guy on this street. They were you, a they customer. Were a person they had a name. And they had a and they had family stuff. And hey, you know, this one just had a baby, so be quiet when you go over there or this one just had a tree fall on their house you know understand that they're under some pressure or wow we got to tear up the floor there this is going to be hard we have to talk to them in a certain way to help them understand why that's important all of those things today can be lost and if we don't capture that in digital well, how's our next generation going to get that information how are we going to preserve it if we're not using audio and video Absolutely. You know, Susan, I've been in the media business for a hubteen dozen years, over 30 years. I worked for AT&T Advertising Solutions. Southwestern Bell Yellow Pages wow. retired after 25 years and fantastic. And, and you know what I did? All I did, my job was simply just to make them look good. Find something about unique about their business that would get them to the top and stand out mm -hmm. in the phone book. Now, you know when you go to plumbing contractors, <laughs> right? how many ads are there? There's mm -hmm. full-page ads, half-page ads, even what we call double full-page ads. That was some good money. Uh, the situation is, though, you know, it was always my opportunity and my desire to help them out. And they took it, and they learned that when I'm with them, that I'm caring more about their business than I'm caring about my paycheck, if you understand what I'm saying. But, you know, in print product. Now, print products pretty much kind of just faded away. You don't see a yellow page anymore. You know, it's kind of crazy that it's migrated towards the Internet. And the radio and the TV, again, is coming back to life to what actually do what we did in print. And so what you want to do now is you really want to promote that person and make them look good for what they want to look good for. And when I talk about finding the superhero in you, it's you basically identifying what your need is, okay, coming up with a solution, and then saving the day. And every business out there is really That's what beautiful. I consider a hero in what they do. They run their business, you know, they don't always know how to portray their business. They don't know how to broadcast or get the publicity or even what a press release can do for them. So Rise Up Media and Marketing is a contributor on Business Innovators Magazine, Business Innovators Radio. We're also small business trendsetters. And then my favorite of all is Authority Press Wire. Authority Press Wire is what I consider one of the largest uh, press distributing companies in the nation today. And the beauty of this is each one of those identities, it's all about the positive aspect of sharing business. My rules is I can't say anything bad. I can't write anything bad. I can't do anything bad. So if you're thinking of I'm gonna go to the negative side of the world, the dark side, no, that's not what we do. We interview top performing professionals in their field of expertise, in their field of expertise, and then we get them the publicity that they want. And the beauty of all that is it's not just business innovators and it's not just small business trendsetters and it's not just authority press wire. It's kind of like, you know, you have a group of people around you and, you know, I have my entrepreneur walking around with me, you know, and all of a sudden what backs all that is simply that we are an affiliate partner program and we have over 375 affiliate networks that take our articles, our press releases, and everything that we do, and they broadcast it for us. So it, instead of just having one person talk about you and say, hey, I'm recommending Susan, I give you 375 top-rated networks Excellent. that are gonna talk about how wonderful you are. They're going to pick up your story. They are, no, no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're going to put you where you want to be. And then all of a sudden, you wake up the next morning or you send out an email and you say, hey man, wow, I'm not, Susan, guess what I saw yesterday? Man, did you, I looked on Google. I was, I, 300 somewhat times on Google. I was picked up by NBC, ABC, CBS, and Fox, and Business Innovators, and iHeartRadio, and just on and on that list goes. Because a lot of businesses don't understand how to build their brand, or how to make that brand the top brand out in the country today. You know, so we have a thing which is basically called authority domain. The way that SEO works now is SEO 
grabs and Google looks at your ranking between one and a hundred. They put you somewhere in there based upon how well you do or how you relate to whatever they're looking for. Okay, right, right. to build a brand. So with 375 top authority brand networks, I mean, when you look at YouTube, YouTube is ranked 91. Some CBS shows 87. Then you keep going down the list. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting you with all those authority media positioning people out there that already have that domain authority. You understand? So in that situation, what we're looking to do is to drag you in there and link you up with a whole lot of people promoting you. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we're not hearing a whole lot about. I remember there was a time when there was a, there, there was a whole lot more talk about that. But what we're able to do with that today in bringing those, those thoughts and those uh, strategies and tactics back is... Something I'm actually going to share with you when we get back. We're going to listen to a few of our sponsors, and when we get back, we're going to continue talking about this. And I'm going to tell you exactly how we're applying exactly everything Tom's talking about today for some very important events that are actually changing the face of America today. The American business economy is positioned as it has never been before. Professional videography is a core element for attracting a higher level of engagement with the people group you need for significant impact. Now is your time to shine. My name is Bill Brock, owner of White Rock Films, and I invite you to a powerful opportunity in the marketplace, an opportunity to draw excited people to your events, an opportunity to showcase your ideas on infrastructure, an opportunity to become known as the industry authority and enjoy the associated benefits of a strong, influential brand. Video highlights, video teaches. Video puts a resistant market at ease, and video stirs the hearts and imaginations of your allies and strategic client base. White Rock Films offers full audio, video production for businesses ready to embrace the future, handling your project with professionalism, experience, and polish unheard of in the industry. My name is Bill Brock, and White Rock Films wants your business. See us online at whiterockfilms.com. Experience the zeal difference. It's my favorite beverage. I never thought nutrition could taste so good. I know it's why I feel the best I've ever felt. Wouldn't start my day without this beverage. Every once in a while, a product comes along that's so innovative, it has the ability to shake up how we feel about nutrition. You're about to be introduced to a one-of-a-kind nutritional powerhouse. It's scientifically formulated and backed by a landmark clinical trial. This wellness product has created a movement that has already generated over 300 million in sales. It continues to change lives, create a thirst in people to be healthier, and is inspiring generations in ways other beverages simply do not. It's called Zeal, and thousands of people worldwide, just like you, appreciate that it takes the guesswork out of nutrition and why it's loved by so many. If you don't experience the Zeal difference in 30 days, we'll refund your money. Join us in this movement and experience the Zeal difference. And we're back. This is Susan Hamilton. You're watching Offbeat Business TV. You're listening to OBBM Network Podcast or listening on the OBBM radio. I'm talking with Tom Chester today with Rise Up Media Marketing. And we're talking about, before we went to the break, about some press release strategies that have been very just pivotal in some of the things that we're doing today with things that actually matter. You made a comment earlier about being positive and showing the positive things. That resonates with me, Tom, because I've always said oh, that yeah. we are, uh, let's find the things that are working right in media today, right? Because a lot of the media that we're seeing, whether it's traditional news media or social media, can be so negative and nasty. And it's easy to get in a swamp of that, right? And boy, if you have an opinion, it could get really crazy. And what's happened to the local family business market is a lot of times they're afraid of even having an opinion. I know that's exactly the type of thing that would have horrified my father and why he would never have put his own brand in social media. So what we see is a lot of people kind of pulling back from that because they don't know how to engage today. How do we do it? So I love that OBBM Network is all about showing people an example of how to do it well. Because we can talk about controversial things, we can talk about difficult things, but we can be tasteful and we can actually make a difference with a good, uh, a good way to go about that. And that sounds like what Rise Up Media and Business Innovators Radio is doing as well. Absolutely. Rise up, rise up, even rise up San Antonio, rise up radio. Our whole mission statement is to inspire, connect, transform, and impact the lives of the people that live in our city. 
So by doing that, we're always promoting events that are, are worth going to or businesses and spotlighting them and doing everything that we can to show people, hey, this is, this is what we do. And these are the good things that are happening in your world today. I mean, we've all heard about this fake news. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Fake news is real news. That's what they think because most of the people out there that do, and I'm not going to say that. That's that's disparaging because I have a lot of cohorts and other news people that don't do it. But sometimes they're forced to actually twist yeah. it and turn it yes. for the sensationalism or to present it in a different way so that their story is going to get aired instead of somebody else's story. Right. And, you know, just like when you get, we have have a fire right outside the building here today and all of a sudden it's up in flames. Automatically, the IP address would send out the location of the fire. They'd tell everybody, and then guess who would you have here? You'd have every media source come converging, trying to pick up that story, trying to find a different angle on that story so that they can get that broadcasted, you know? So we don't do that. And that's the beauty of what we don't do is we promote the positive and encouraging things that business owners do, not the sensationalism, not the hype, not twisting and turning the news so it fits our criterion, but basically because of what it does for your business. So when we do that, we want to focus on what makes you the top performing professional in your field of expertise. We want to focus on what makes you the superhero. And it allows us to have a community connection, doesn't it? And like you said, one of the things I've noticed that we're doing uh, very similar with the OBBM network and what you're doing with the, your Rise Up Radio is is taking that global reach and but drilling it back down to that local mm -hmm. arena so that we can be impactful in the very communities that we serve. It's so important to look at it like that and reframe it because in the absence of that, all we have is a large corporate voice, and we are right. totally missing exactly. out on the, the fact that business. conversation makes the difference, doesn't it, Tom? We we can when when people are trying to frame what is fake news, they will they'll label it in a, in a way. The thing of it is, the more we're talking to each other the more we recognize what fake news is, <laughs> and, right? Because that conversation, the more that we're actually having it in the community, we, we're aware of what's just not true. Yeah, exactly, and that's kind of the, the deal. You know, some people watch Fox News and they say that's the best channel, or NBC, ABC, whatever, I don't care. The whole story right. is I watch for what it's doing in a positive effect that it's having on the lives of the people that live in that city. You know, we turn on the TV every day. We hear horrible things. Yeah. We see horrible things. It is, and it's we don't want to have our heads in the no, sand. We, we need don't. to be able to talk about those things in a way that we can impact positive change in those. Abso absolutely, yeah. and that's where the, the focus is. Between you and me is bringing out the positive aspect of these business owners, these small business owners that don't have a voice. They don't know how to get their message out there. They're frustrated. And they're, they're used to it being very, very expensive and we've been able to come out and say, yeah. hey, guess yeah. what, folks? It's affordable to actually get your business out in this space. And it allows us to work on this program. For instance, what you're helping us do with the Blue Dragon International Conference. What oh, a I huge love issue. That one. We actually have an opportunity to solve all those issues that we're seeing between the community and our first responders. And so how better to do it but first hit that local market and help them realize what the what our officers are facing to begin with and then give them an opportunity to humanize the scenario so we can have better relationships regardless of things like skin color or mental health. Or right. all the things that tend to be what are what we're hearing most about everywhere else. How about we change the narrative? How about we say, oh. here we see the problem, let's make a difference. Rise Up Radio is helping us get that information out by partnering with OBBM on those uh, on those issues. And we're so grateful and thankful that you have taken that initiative to go, you know what, we can help you and get that stuff out and uh, put fannies in seats where we can really make a difference on the local level as we move out in the national scale. Because now our reputation goes before us. That's, That's huge. right. That's huge. We don't do, we, sometimes we do an event and then we look for the outcome of the event instead of actually portraying the event way in advance and having people drawn to the attraction of the event. And you know, the one thing that I really love about the Blue Dragon. Uh, and consultants and the event that's coming up in August on the 30th and the 31st. I can't pitch that enough, let me tell you. We did, what, eight press releases, maybe 10 press releases with different speakers that are involved in there. And I was so impressed. I'll tell you one. We did one with you, but 
with Ricky, that just yeah. got to Ricky me. Ricky went everywhere. And yeah. Ricky exploded. I mean, it was unbelievable. I have get more comments about that interview than I do anything else yeah. because basically he is somebody that's been if the feet in the street. He's also, you know, really, I call it, you know, the life behind the badge. Right. We talked about experience. Which is interesting because he's not a member of the Blue Dragon International Consultants. No, he's not on the no. stage. He is a member of the community that had a valid input with 25 years inside Dallas County working in those areas, working in those arenas. So we could use his voice as an authority to back up everything that we're recognizing oh, and saying. And it resonated with the community, didn't it? It went crazy yeah. because you're you're absolutely right. He's not one of the blue dragon. He's an outsider looking from the outside to the inside and sharing 20 years of experience of being in law enforcement. I mean, he's an ex criminal investigator, right. you know, and so just to share. It. Oh, yeah. he, he knows it. Mm -hmm. He's living it. He's being it. And, and some of the stuff that he shared with me was just so powerful. And hopefully we can share that one of these days with your audience, because he was telling us what it, life was all about and the way they went through and the things they went through and the things they had to endure and basically what it felt like, you know, with even the public. So his involvement with this event is trying to get the community in. Yeah. You know, get, get those fannies yeah, and seats. Yeah. Tom, it's been a pleasure talking with you today and sharing what you're doing. How can people reach out to you? How can the local business audience reach out directly to Tom? Uh, I know you've got a very simple way, and we're down to our last few moments. Can yeah, you share with our audience how to do that? Yeah, if you want to go to whole Tom Chester, just go to Google and Google Tom Chester. I mean, I am indexed <laughs> you on Google. You. <laughs> He'll find me. You can't hide from me. You know, I can't hide from you. So in that situation, or you can go to Rise Up Media and Marketing or Rise Up Radio radio or just solutions plus providing solutions for businesses but since I'm in the digital age you know and I talk to people about being online and getting recognition if you can't find me I'm not doing my job boop, 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 boop. I'm gone <laughs> you also have a v card I have a digital business card yes, I love talk those about the digital business card and then I'm gonna the digital business here. card is basically uh, it's a personalized website it's a digital business card and it is a mobile app all wrapped into one mm -hmm. and it's something as a business owner can get which is very very inexpensive but they can have an update card it's like a digital business mm -hmm. card or like your business card you hand out your business card instead you basically tell them to go and you'll text them with your vi digital business card but it can have all your information more than a website more than a so you can find card. out everything about oh, Tom yeah. Chesser going to his V card. Oh, absolutely! I have about seventeen of those things. So <laughs> I kinda, which one do you want to share? Uh, Rise up media and marketing. Okay. Yeah, that one. The Rise up radio. Anyone you want to share? But okay. yeah, so then it is always. I, I'm so glad to be here in Dallas, Texas, and it's not raining like it was before. Mm -hmm. So. But, you know, I'm glad that, you know, the Wonder Woman in you, and, and, and I wished I actually was Superman today because I could have been leaping over tall buildings to get here or, or you know, basically. Well, we're going to walk into tall buildings because uh, we're going after this conference market media. Yeah, And absolutely. here we go, here we go. So until next time, friends, Susan Hamilton, you've been watching Offbeat Business TV. I, I, friends, have you downloaded the Offbeat Business app yet? You need to do that because you can get all this in the palm of your hands. You've been listening to the Offbeat Business Show. Find our lineup, podcast, magazine, event calendar, and sponsor information, even our membership directory, all available on the Offbeat Business app or at offbeatbusiness.com. Download the Offbeat Business app today. Take this for me.